a free trapper, uh, is what they would be called in the Rockies. Uh, I'm a, what I classify myself as an historian and a professional bourgeois. Uh, what a bourgeois is, is that would have been the boss of the camp. I belong to a group here at Onawa that uh, puts this on every year. My name is John Wilcox. I go by Lizard. Uh, I've been doing mountain man reenactments now for about 25 years. Well, my thing is, is there's not enough history taught in school. Uh, they're just, uh, this period, there's just nothing in school about the mountain man period. There's very little about Lewis and Clark. Being that that's, uh, that's happened, it just bothers me uh, that this, the kids aren't being taught this, and this is one of the most important uh, aspects of our country, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, the, the purchase of the Louisiana or the purchase of the Louisiana Territory was one of the largest land purchases that was ever made in the United States. So uh, it just bothered me so much that uh, the school didn't teach all this stuff. So I kind of got interested in it, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Participating this weekend in the Lewis and Clark Festival, um, we're setting up as um, uh, Buck Skinners this weekend to display different arts and crafts if people are interested in seeing how it was done during the Mountain Man era. Um, I probably got interested 30 years ago um, or so. Uh, my cousins were involved in it and still are. Then my wife. Uh, started doing it with me and um, it's kind of a family thing we did. And